Hi, in this video today, I would like to talk about an overview of the dashboard in the sidecar. And I will only talk about the basic concept for the component. And if you want to find more detail, you can go to the internet and go to the sidecar documentation page to see. Okay, so now let's get started. On this dashboard page, or you can call it the sidecar experience platform page which contains some components for the marketing application. It will manage some of the uh, information for analytics. And the next, this one is the content editing. So you will work with the content editing a lot of time when you are using Sitecore, either CMS for the website. And the next one is the control panel, which contains the control panel and the desktop. The control panel, there are something we can do for the configuration and setting for the sidecar instance. And for the desktop, when you go to the desktop, we contain and we will have a layout. Look like the same thing when you are working in the uh, window. I, I will talk about it later. For the access management, uh, this contains some of the features to do some of the uh, some configuration for user, user role, and user management. There are some security editor, the domain manager, and the asset viewer. Okay. And for the asset management, it are it were using the uh, .NET membership to do some uh, to do to manage the user and user role. Okay. And now I will go to the that that top first. Yeah. So this layout you can see here, it looks like the start menu in the window. When you click on this one, it will open uh, the menu where you are able to select the, 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 com the component you want to be running. Yeah. Okay. And on the, on the bottom right here, you can see here, this one is a matter. So when you hover this one, it will display the message is switch to another database. Okay. So here you can see we have three database: core, master, and web. So now the master, the master database is the authorized ring database. It contains own version of the uh, any content asset asset in the sidecar and the core database. The core database is uh, it will contain all of the setting, cycle setting, as well as the um, the table containing, for for example, is the .NET membership provider for user management, and the last one is the website database. The web database is only the latest published version and the content uh, of the of the website. So it is a uh, sub a subset of the matter that way optimized for size and speed so uh, when you are working in the uh, in the sidecar CMS so you editing the content uh, for uh, for article or news or something like that so you have to public publish the content in the for the for, for, for the client in order to see it if you not publish the content to the web database, uh, so the user cannot see the chain. Okay. Back to the that part by clicking on this one. Yeah. So here for the content editor, you can click on the content editor, and see. You can see here when you double click on the content under the here it will open uh, an editor okay so here you can see we have the web welcome to site yeah so this one is the this one is the client side or we can call it the content delivery yeah and in the cycle here we can call it the content management Okay, cool. So now, when you finish the editing, you can go click on this one to back to the dashboard. 
Okay, so I hope this video will be helpful for you. And after you finish this video, you know an overview of the uh, component in SciCore. And I will come back to talk about more detail for some specific co component later in an another video. Okay, bye-bye and see you later.